I'm here at the storytelling, the reimagining storytelling festival with Chief Nyamwea. And tell me what you are. You are a storyteller. Yes. An animator. Yes. Uh, an artist. Yes. But now you just come from California. You were studying what? This was in 2016. Yes. This was I came back in October of 2016. Yes. And I was in a place called Singularity University, uh -huh. which was founded by an inventor called Ray Kurzweil. Okay. And uh, his co-founder was uh, Peter Diamandis, who was uh, the founder of the X Prize. Yes. And uh, it's inside a NASA campus. Oh. Right inside the NASA campus, oh, wow. you can see all the history of NASA, how it came up. Um, and its connection to Silicon Valley. But you How were it, studying what? We were studying, well, there were 77 of us in this class. Uh -huh. And we were studying how to apply exponential technologies. Meaning rapid, what? Rapidly transforming technologies, uh -huh. such as uh, AI and uh, blockchain and um, uh, virtual reality and all these other new technologies that are transforming human life. And how to take those technologies and apply them to solving humanity's global grand challenges. Now, and, how yeah. does that apply to you as a Kenyan? What relevance does it have to your work as an artist? That is a very interesting question. And I, I must confess, at the time I was studying it, I wasn't at all clear. <laughs> and I think when you're trying to, to do something um, as, as, as impactful as they are trying to train us to, to do, you would be lying to yourself if you have a clear picture. It takes a while before the bloody image crystallizes into something clear. Yes. So the reason why you actually haven't heard from me for the previous two years is because I had to go into myself and I had to ask myself the question which you just asked me, which is how does what's happening around the world with technology, with politics, with all these things, how does that impact my work as an artist? And my response was this. Now show me, this book is called what? This book is called The Art of Unlearning. The and art, the art, what's the S for? Is that for infinity? Infinity, yeah. Uh huh. And so tell me what this book is. It's a the, it's graphic novel. It's a graphic novel, yes. That you drew yourself? Yes, I drew it. And you created the story itself? I created the story, yes. And I wrote how the story. does this relate to what you learned in California? I will show you one page that summarizes. Okay. This page. This is page 27. Okay. There are many pages that give you a sense of what okay. I did there. But basically what it speaks about is that there's transformation happening. Yes. And we all feel it in different ways in our lives. Yes. And the, the biggest driver of this transformation is technological. Yes. Uh, so many of the changes which um, we are experiencing also socially, politically, they wouldn't be there unless they were being pushed by what technology is doing. One example is with employment. The more and more we get intelligent machines, the less and less need we have for human machines, yes. you know, for human behaviors that are repetitive. Yes. Uh -huh. We have less need for that. Yes. So suddenly creativity as a skill has become yes. so much more important than it ever was. We never needed creative people before. Yes. Now we need that to survive. Yes. Either that or we're going to have to live on handouts. And with the right-wing government, it's not likely that that's going uh -huh. to be the prevailing norm. So with all this transformation, I say that you know, for individuals, there are no safe jobs in an age of intelligent machines. What we're going to need is to discover our creative potential. Oh. And that I say that this book is kind of like a manual for you to do that. Oh, fantastic! There are other pages here that can elaborate that a bit more. I'll show you just another one, which I really like. Um, if you take this page, this page summarizes the problem that we had. The problem that we had was an industrial model of education, yes. where we looked at a human being as an industrial product. Yes. And the same way we treat our forests, when you go into a forest, what you want is, you want rubber, you want palm oil, you want maybe to mine gold. You're not interested in the complexity of the human being. Uh -huh. We or extract the environment, Mother Earth. Exactly. We extract these things from the human being uh -huh. and you dump out all that waste product, which is creativity. We had no use for that. And then what comes out on the other side is a nice and standardized uh, product that is put into this social pyramid to run this really messy, dirty industry. Uh -huh. So in one image, I try to capture that. And that's the old. This is the old model. Uh -huh. We have not yet adapted a new model. Uh -huh. This new model, we have to create it right now. And so this, your this, book is a, my a book manual. is, it's attempting to create a new model. Fantastic. Now don't tell me more of the okay. book now. Okay. Because I need to talk to you. All right. Or we are now hearing more noise. Okay. Um, so, yes. uh, what 
what are you going to be doing now? And who publishes it? Did you say? I have self published, yes. I used crowdfunding. Uh -huh. Uh, because the whole point of the book is that we have these technologies that have empowered us. So I myself, without any money, I was able to reach out to people. And the very same people who are going to buy the book, I reached out to them and said, hey, I'm going to want to sell this book, but I haven't printed it yet. If you'd like to be part of the, the creation and publishing process, you can pay in advance. And using what you pay in advance, I will go out and print, which is exactly what happened. Right now, as we are talking, I just came back from the printers and I just printed uh, a good number of copies which I'm going to be distributing and this is the first we've, we've been moving them. So we have the technologies to take power, we have the technologies to to have impact in the world which was previously reserved for kings and tycoons and you know but using these things you can connect with people because ultimately people are the technology, people are the the engine of the transformation, it's human beings. Now, do you have your own company or are you solo? What's your company called? Freehand Movement. What is it? Freehand movement. Freehand movement. Freehand movement. But I know you originally as an artist. Yes. Right? And you have evolved into many other facets. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. So we will be watching you and we will be reading your book and we will be encouraging people to also read it. Thank you very much. And follow you. Thank you, you very much. Chief Nyamweya. Chief Nyamweya. Nyamweya. Yes. Thank you so much.